Think of the artist market at the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. You may think of paintings and pottery, but as we found when wandering through the booths, so there's plenty of wearable art as well. We caught up with some vendors in Gateway and Point State Park that shared their unique handcrafted work with us. All of my pieces are handmade, handcraft. What I do is I get my leathers from everywhere, especially from Colombia, Argentina. I take it to my studio in Atlanta and I make all of my pieces. And they're super versatile, very artistic. I love to paint, paint the leather. But if you want to use it as a crossbody, all of my pieces comes with a strap. So you just add the strap to the ring and you can use it as a crossbody. But if you want to be, again, Hands free, what you do is you turn it into a fanny bag. There's also lots of handmade jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, and earrings of all kinds, like these made from fused art glass, or wearable silks and wool for all seasons at the Woven Dream Designs booth in Point State Park. If a vintage style is more your style, you'll find that too. Skirts, dresses, and tops from booth number 239 by artists from New York City to bring back a retro style. Evokes an image of, you know, uh, Catherine Hepburn or Jack Unassis, just something stylish from before. The fabrics are cotton, American made with fun prints and created with colorful buttons and top stitching. By the way, this artist we talked to says his partner does the sewing. He does the ironing. You'll also find wearable art by Espoir d'Afrique, featuring African clothing for women, men, and children. Artist Aminata was there with her little boy and told us creating this authentic clothing is a family affair. I make all this stuff because this is for my family. My mom do this one. My mom teaches me to do this one. Now I do this one too. Even her father gets involved. He buys the fabric for her clothes. She hopes to open her own shop someday, designing and sewing African clothing. She's from West Africa, but lives now in Monroeville. And finally, if you really want to change your look, try the art of face painting. We found this young man getting his face painted at the arts festival, much to the amusement of his friends. We say thumbs up to that. It's always so much fun to see the face paint. <clears throat> the artist market opens every day from noon until 8 with some new vendors just arriving today in Gateway Center. If you're hungry, you can also grab something to eat from the food trucks and catch tonight's main stage concert. Willie Nelson's son, Lucas Nelson, plays with his band Promise of the Real starting at 730. Look for the full schedule of all there is to see and do at the festival now through Sunday at kdka.com slash PTL.